Hey, welcome back to blog. Today we're going to take a look at Mythos, the CCG. So this game came out in 1996. Uh, it was produced by Coliseum. So I guess they did other stuff and wanted to get into this realm, according to, to Wiki at least. So Mythos. It's Coliseum's collectible card game of authentic Lovecraftian horror. It features simple rules with complex strategies that allow players to attempt to narrate a series of adventures before going insane <laughs> from the growing horrors of the Cthulhu Mythos. A uh, standard game set consists of two 52 card uh, decks. This two sets? Okay, they make a complete game for two players to battle Mythos in a world of HP Lovecraft. Additional decks may be used to play with more than two players. Well, that's nice. The starter deck is two players from the get-go. So here we have cover here. Mythos standard game set unlimited. I'm not sure if the unlimited means anything. Looks like it used to go for $12.95. So maybe that's a little more expensive at the time So because you get two decks I guess. I'm guessing. I don't know. Let's see. We're just going to unbox this. Cards here. And looks like character cards. Okay, so I guess you probably get random, randomized character cards. So we have here um, gifted musician. No, it's English. Investigator card. That's what these are, I guess. Inner sanity, maximum sanity, education. Those are stats. Uh, your hand is 13 cards, minimum 3, maximum 5. Hmm. I guess that's, I don't know what that means. Alright, education, soulful jazz singer, knows English. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe like no uh, different languages, different things. These cards are okay, it starts alright. Uh, then we have the Mythos cards here themselves, which are your two decks. Um, I never played this. So I know I didn't like unbox the, the Buffy ones because <coughs> I said to keep them in. Don't shuffle in case you want to play. Uh, wow, this is a uh, instruction booklet here. Who goes first? First card you play, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh man, I think it's fold out. I hate, I hate fold out instructions. Can't stand it. Might be wrong. No, I'm wrong. Okay. It's just, it's just old and bent. Your investigator. Plays investigator, person from the 1920s and 30s. Uh, forms the center of your activities during the game. Okay. So you make sure they don't go insane. It's a very poorly done <laughs> uh, black and white screenshot. Example organization. Missile threat story deck, investigator, your allies, allied weapons, uh, if you have spells, artifacts, events, and discard pile. All right, let's see. It's a lot of text. <laughs> All right, he's got a picture there. Here we got card anatomy. You can see this here. Nakai. Nakai. All right. So location. Title attributes, value. So looks like they're symbols. This is kind of annoying. All right. Vortex. Yeah, it's kind of. What did it say? <laughs> Features simple rules with complex strategies. That's a lot of rules. This isn't uncommon for like CCGs, especially at this time. It just gets a little annoying. But being a CCG and maybe having a competitive like arena, I guess you have to do that. Cause rules and all that stuff. You're gonna win prizes or money at the time for all these CCGs that are going on in the 90s. Um, so that's that. Character cards. Uh, I think I will open one of these because why not? Let's see how they look. 
Um, check out some of these cards. No, that's no, totally open. It's worthless. All right, card backs, pretty nice. Purple theme. All right, what do we got here? Tierra of Opulent Fantasy. Uh, it's so hard to read that, huh? Let's see if I can get any better focus. Maybe not. Of course. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna look at some of these cards. <laughs> Terrible old man. Put them face down in case they need to be in order. Uh, let's see here. Lightning gun. So it's pretty bad. Demovers. Alright, I'm gonna mess with that all day. Martin's Beach location. Essence Institute location. There's an ally. Samuel Windsor. Insect from Shagai. There's the artifact. I'm not gonna read all 52 of these. We'll just go, let's go through them. Train. Miss Sonia Lovecraft, Mrs. Sonia Lovecraft. So you have like an adventure card here. It's gonna tell you, I guess, things to do. We got a plus eight. Uh, hunting horror. There you go. Looks better up here. Add one point to value. We have no idea what this does. Join hunting horrors. <coughs> so it's maybe like a swarm card. It's a tome here. More locations. Insect from Shagai. Useful hounds. An event in the evening there. It is now night. <laughs> Bury any day or night cards. And blah, blah, blah. Bellevue Hospital. Looks like you don't want to go there. Like the Museum of Natural History. Another ally here. Le Bon Shrewsbury. That guy. Arkham. Another adventure, big party at Steadfast looks like, a deep one. <laughs> Dwayne's deep ones, okay. Another train, fetch your investigator. The old gibbet. Also on Water Street, another ally, Howard Lovecraft. Cast iron skillet. This is an artifact. Because artifacts are like weapons. Downpour. I think the art fits the theme of this game. It's not my favorite style, but I guess it, I think it fits. Greeny Orange House. Our ally here, Harry Houdini. A beach monster. Plus three up there. Bolt action rifle. High noon. Central Hill. The Commons. Oh, that's Granny Orn herself. Another adventure. I think we've seen three adventures in the deck. A hunting horror. A monster. 
And then you have points also, add the hunting horrors. I'm guessing these horrors with the adding, maybe that probably affects uh, sanity level. I don't know, I'm guessing. Spell card, blasphemous, obeisance, Cthulhu Rising, that can't be good, right? Affects the opponent's story deck. Agrophobia. Sacrophobia, I think it says. Oh, fear of open places. Alright, I learned something. Alright, the Arkham Police Department. Arkham Gazette. Frank Belknap Long. Another adventure. Portophobia. Event. And the last card here Boston Remain Train Station. To Arkham. All right, so that is the starter deck for one of the players. I don't know, didn't say like on the deck if it matters like who you pick. So I'm guessing all these are interchangeable. You can find a favorite one you like. Uh, how far off of the stats? Let's see. 14, 13, 20, 20, 12, 14. So, um, <laughs> oh, okay. So compare stats there. Uh, the hand size. 13, 13. C seems. I mean, wait. Board clerk. And then flip over here. And then look at these. Did we? Rebellious youth. And board clerk. That's cool. I mean, you get four characters to choose from from the starter deck and four two players. That's pretty good. I'm kind of interested in playing this game more now. Just seeing, like, I mean, it seems like a lot's going on with all this stuff. <laughs> Allies, locations, artifacts, missions, and monsters. That's all good stuff, right? So that is the Mythos standard game set. Looks like enough for two players, for the two decks, four character cards to choose from, which is nice, and a whole lot of rules. So, thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.